Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Perfect. Sir, dear, can you see me? Yes, of course. Is that oh, it seems quite obvious, right? But you know what? Not all things are always obvious. Have a look at this guy. This small kid. He's just born. You know what? He cannot see from even this far. And he lived with it for three years. He thought that, you know, as a normal person, nobody can see farther than this. And this was his, you know, small boundary of limitation. He was living with it. He was, he was inside his little boundary. He might not do things that as a normal child uh, others did, but he was happy. At the age of four, his parents did find out that there's something really uh, wrong with this guy, and they bought him a pair of glasses. You know? So now, you know, his, his boundary that, that existed before has now broadened up. Now he can do a lot more things, like he can play video games, he can watch TV. He was almost feeling like a normal guy. And he was, again, happy. The limitation was gone. Do you think life is that simple, you know, as it appeared to be? One limitation was gone, but the other was waiting for him. At the age of 12, he was shifted from a Hindi medium school in a very small town to an English medium school in a comparatively better city. He had hardly any uh, you know, knowledge of English vocabulary. English words were like Latin and Greek for him. But you know, whenever uh, he, uh, he was in class, he didn't understand anything about what, what his English or even history or geography teacher was speaking. You know, this, this was another limitation for him. In some time, he started exploring other things. So he started exploring computers. He started exploring mathematics, you know, because these subjects require lesser knowledge of English language. So what, what was he trying to do? He was, he was trying to come up with ways to avoid his limitation. You know, uh, now he, he, he's not bothered about whether he can understand history or geography or not, he's happy with his mathematics, he's happy with his computers. So in a way, he, he pushed his boundaries and he created space for other possibilities to arrive in. So another limitation was gone. It, it, when he was in class 11, like uh, most of you guys sitting here, he was told about IIT. Somebody told him that IIT is something you know very prestigious, when you get in there, you, you know, doors of unlimited opportunities uh, comes to you, and uh, he was really amazed. Dude, let's do it. Let's prepare for IIT. But he was stereotyped as a very weak student, and but he did, he did, you know, he, he did a lot of hard work. He did study for two years continuously from 11 and 12. And you know what the end result was? He failed. He failed miserably. Let me tell you, there will come moments in your life when you'll feel that you have given your best, as this guy thought that he, he did give his best, yet the outcome was negative, it was failure. This is the time when you must realize, when you, you must, trust me, you must realize that this is the time you must realize that the effort that you put in was not your best. Because if it was, you would have never failed. This is what my, my father told me. And this was my story. And next year, I, uh, I worked harder and I entered into one of those IITs, pursuing my mathematics and computers department, which was my favorite. So this was my story and I, uh, so, you know, whenever I tried to come out of one limitation, the other one was waiting for me. And this time, it was the next level of limitation. In 2008, I was in my second year, and uh, 
somebody offered me to build an art-based social network. You know, social network, the term, it might look cliched now, but in those times, in 2008, social network term was not much heard in India. It was the time when Pinterest and Instagram didn't even exist. It was the time when Tumblr was starting up. It was the time when Facebook was trying to expand its operations in India. It was a huge opportunity for me. But as usual, limitations have bound me. I refused that offer. Standing here and looking back, I realize it took me four years to overcome those limitations that I used to think was limitations in terms of technology. I thought that I didn't have technical expertise. I thought that I didn't have enough finance. I thought that I didn't have a good team to begin with. I thought that I didn't have a university degree to come up with a, with a social network, a new venture. It took me four years to overcome these limitations. And finally, in 2012, I started this art-based social network called Touch Talent along with my uh, partner. I'm wondering if I would have done that four years ago, I could have changed lives of many other creative people. So have a look at this painting. Can you believe that this painting was done by a 13-year-old kid who is staying in Bangkok. You know, her, her passion is art and craft. She's just 13. She got this, you know, this, this uh, talent from her father. She's very young. But through a platform, she, show, she showcased her paintings to, you know, in front of the world and world appreciated it. Now, she's one of the most famous users in our community. She, she's got reach in, terms of, in, in numbers of millions. So she has come out of her limitation, you know, which existed in her mind that she's very young, she cannot do it, she cannot become popular. There are multiple other artists exist in this world. Why would people appreciate her art? She came out of it. She shared it with the world. And now she's, she's pretty much popular. She's a grand grandmother from Portugal. To be precise, she is 89 years old. She came out of her limitations that she can share her poetry with the world. And she does extraordinary poetry. And now she's being appreciated by people globally. So this is her story. Look at this painting. You won't believe that this painting was done by a you know, deaf and dumb guy. You know, he's the most apt example to think of. Being deaf and dumb, he could not do many other things like we, uh, like me and you can do. But he started earning his living through his creativity. He started selling his paintings. And this is how you know, he came out of, her limitation, out of his limitations and got popular. So the core funda behind my whole talk is that there will come many limitations in your life, but along with those, there will come endless opportunities as well. Now it's on you how much you push your limitations and expand your boundaries to make some space for possibilities to come in. Thank you. And uh, I, I might uh, have been, a, you know, forgive me for my arrogance, a bit of selfishness and my ignorance, but uh, you know, I request you to come out of your limitations and try out different things that exist in this world. I'm sure you'll definitely get closer to what you define as success is. Thank you.